doing another unbooking. Unbooking. That's right. An unbooking where we don't review the book. We just open it. <laughs> I don't know what we do. They're all a little different, kind of. Not really. They're the same. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? All right, so we're doing an unbooking today. Book by Ed Catmull. Ed Catmull is one of the co-founders of Pixar Animation Studios. Big deal. I gotta be honest, really like Pixar. And not just like, oh, I like Pixar because I'm like trendy and cool, but like legitimately like sit at home and watch a Pixar movie by myself, won't tell anybody and just enjoy it. Ed Catmull, cool dude, man. President of uh, Disney and Pixar Animation. He's contributed a lot to 3D graphic technology and animation technology, won Academy Awards and stuff. Pretty legit. Now this is the thing, Pixar. I don't know anybody that just doesn't have fond thoughts of Pixar as a company. They know what they're doing. And I think what really attracted me to this book, besides the fact that Buzz Lightyear is on the cover, is just that knowing that somebody who is on the inside of Pixar is writing about creativity, teamwork, business. Man, I just knew. But I was like, yeah, I, I have to read this. I gotta get into this book. And the book is not going to be thrown to me today. It's right here. Ed Catmull's Creativity Inc. It's a shiny cover. It is shiny. And it's Buzz lightyear -y. It's a New York Times bestseller. Creativity Inc. Overcoming the unseen forces that stand in the way of true inspiration. So similar kind of vibe to the war of art. There's a creative process and an inspiration type thing that happens, but then there's resistance or unseen forces that stand in the way. Initial impressions of this book, really, really good read. Very informational book. I think it teaches a lot, a lot of wisdom in the book, but oh man, it's a fun read, especially if you're a fan of Pixar. Really though, I, I think this book has a little something for everybody. The creative, somebody who's into story, somebody who's into design, technology, a lot of talk of Steve Jobs in this book, the advancement that they made in animation, you, you kind of see where they started. A bit of a memoir, so you, you get to hear a lot of the stories. I think that the best thing about this book, my favorite thing about this book, was hearing about all of the failures and downfalls that they had along the way, because you don't really see those. And the company is pretty much hit after hit after hit. And if they have a movie that flopped, it's still better than every other, other movie that came out, you know? So it was really cool to see behind the scenes of Pixar and the creation of Pixar. And then I think really what Ed Catmull was hitting at is how do you create a creative culture that is conducive to really, really making great things as a team? And I learned a lot learned a lot from this book and put a lot of things into practice that he talks about. Favorite quote? Ah, yes. This is actually him paraphrasing Steve Jobs. And he says, Steve used to say regularly that as brilliant as Apple products were, eventually they all ended up in landfills. Pixar movies, on the other hand, would live forever. There's a lot to this. There's a lot to unpack. I read the Steve Jobs biography by Walter Isaacson, I believe. And yeah, man, Steve, Steve was quite the individual. Very, very obsessive over the product. And it was very interesting reading that and then reading this to hear Steve say, yeah, these Apple products are brilliant, but they're all gonna end up in the dump. But this Pixar thing, these Pixar movies are gonna last forever. People that don't know, now, Steve Jobs was the reason Pixar exists. I mean, yeah, if you want, you want to put it that way, and I'll let you read more into that. Uh, just beyond Apple and Apple products, he had a huge hand uh, in Pixar and believed in it really early when a lot of other people didn't. But really what I take from this, of course, film is more abstract than a piece of hardware. And yes, it, one day it's going to end up in the garbage. But I think it shows kind of what Steve understood about the creation process in that it goes beyond creating a product. And there's also that telling the story aspect. So random highlight, this is where I just read a random highlight. Here's a highlight. If the crew is confused, then their leader is too. Yeah, that makes sense. If the team doesn't know what they're doing, probably because the person in charge doesn't know what they're doing. <laughs> what's, what's that? That was a pretty good one. I Agree. Just a little quick hit there. The main takeaways. You know, I would say 
without looking at any of my notes from this book, the main thing I took away from this book, Ed really reinforced this a couple times throughout, is that the creative process should be protected. When you're working with a team of people, that you have to create a culture in which it's okay to have new ideas and that people should feel safe in giving new ideas and that the culture is that it's okay if ideas don't work out, but there needs to be this really free flowing feel behind uh, sharing thoughts. Have y'all read this? I have. You read it? Yeah. What, what, what did you think? I think it's a, it's a really good book for a creative who gets lost in the process because sometimes the process makes you question if you should be doing what you're, what you're doing. Yeah, I, I think what I have right here in my notes is one thing they said is that early on in Pixar, they had this idea that if they made something that they liked or that they wanted to see, maybe other people would want to see it too. And I think that's a really cool idea is not getting so caught up in trying to make something that other people like, just make something that you like and, and, and other people will too. And there's a band. Uh, maybe somebody who knows this, but there's a band that has a quote that says, we just had the crazy idea that if we liked it, other people would too. So if you know who that is, put that in the comments for us. Yeah, besides that, a big part of this book is not just showing people how to build a successful company, but how to build a culture within a company that will sustain a company and that will cause people to enjoy it. So uh, similar to Failing Forward, I know that Ed Catmull in this book talked about if your idea fails, that doesn't mean you failed. You're not your idea. You gotta separate the two. Ooh, one thing big that I took uh, from this is the idea of candor. And he talks about being open and honest if you're working with a team and how you really, really have to separate yourself from your ideas and you really, really have to uh, be willing to take some criticism or however you wanna look at it. And you guys know from working with me and the different teams we work with that I'm big on that. One time I asked Phil, I said, man, what's wrong with what I'm doing? And he said, you're just talking too much. I and mean, I could have got really offended by that. And you know, there is an element that when somebody says something to you like that, you know, there's an element to that. But we have that relationship. We've built enough trust and we understand enough. And we, and we both have our eyes set on the same goal. When he said that, it was like, ouch. But then it was like, it's exactly right. That's the purpose of candor and that's what it should do. Oh, another interesting thing from this book, he talked about what they learned after making Toy Story, which was their first major film and in, in endeavor. He's, the two things that they learned was, number one, story is king. The visuals, as important as they are, and the technology and the animation, is, as great as that is, story is more powerful than all of those things. I've implemented that idea that story is king in so many different areas of my life. And then number two, trust the process. You read in this book, sometimes the process of making these films is really, really insane. They talk about how technology, how it improved, but how they had to store their data and all of these different things and how one of their films, and they almost had a disaster. They thought they had lost everything. And then one employee, I think, in the in the whole company had it on a different drive or computer. Like an HR employee. Yeah, or and they like just that. happened to recover everything off this one. I mean, it almost had a major, major goof. Really, really cool stories in this book. Uh, really good information for teams and creative teams. Read it or beat it. I think even if you don't have any interest in leadership or business or creativity, it's just a cool book if you like Pixar. On top of that, there's so much, so much good information in this book. Gotta read it. I'll call it a must read. Yeah, read it. Creativity Inc. Ed Catmull. If you've read any of these books, let us know about it. Seriously, if I messed up the explanation, if you could have done this better than me, then go ahead and do it in the comments. Subscribe. Click the little bell thingy. Let's have a good time. Really want to hear from you. Uh, and what books do you want to see unbooked? Let me know. Hit us up. Mizra Mug.